My name is Ling Hamo, and I work at the Tibetan Reception Center, Kathmandu. And my main duty job is to take care of the refugees coming from Tibet. So it depends, you know, uh, for la last since three years, we have been receiving almost every day refugees, 20, 27, 30, so we have average of 100 to 200 per month. The problems Tibetan refugees are, you know, face on the way from Tibet is, uh, you know, some of them take more than a month to travel from Lhasa to Kathmandu. So the routes they usually take is Solokompu, Patopani, and then Ramanang side. So if during winter time when they come and the snowfall, heavy snowfall, the main problem with the refugees suffer is the frostbite, severe frostbite. And every year we have 30 to 40 cases of severe frostbite. And many of them have to have an amputation of their legs, feet, you know, toes, and fingers, whatever it is. And then other problems are like common problems, what, you know, uh, cold, cough, chest infection. And then sometimes problem with the refugees is they don't have enough food to eat on the way. So by the time they come here, you know, they're so hungry and they start eating so much that uh, suddenly their stomach doesn't agree with the amount of food they eat, so they start vomiting blood. So we have emergencies. My name is Tamchu. Uh, I'm 46 years old. I was born in Tibet in 1955. Uh, my village is, uh, the name of my, my village is uh, Kirung. Uh, it is called uh, Happy Valley in English. It is very close from Shabru Bensi. Tibetans uh, uh, in Shabru Bensi you know, are very poor. They have no access to modern you know, uh, facilities. Uh, they are, you know, um, they are, they remain there since they escaped from Tibet. And my responsibilities are to look after their welfare, their health care, uh, you know, their children's education. Uh, and uh, recently I have, uh, you know, made some project proposals to, uh, open two you know, clinics, one for allopathic clinics and another for you know, Tibetan herbal medicine.
My father, I never saw him. And since I'm a pregnant and this bad uh, struggling Chinese came out and then the Tibet in is mostly the eastern side, Kamba. The all the men have to go for the war. It's like uh, Chishi Gangdu. Uh, so that's why my father went for that and uh, he never know me. Uh, the mom is pregnant. That was me. And he never know me that the child is birth son or daughter. He, he, he doesn't know that. I even don't know about the father's love. And uh, I was born on the way, 1959. I call, I used to say to my friends all the time, I'm a border child. And the, the worst year of Tibetan, uh, I was born on the way, the 1959. So from there, when I was uh, three, four years, and my mother died, died for the, uh, this unsuitable climate. And also the due to the maybe um, maybe like uh, food changing and sort of like that. In Tibet we used to eat sampa and that yaksha like this because it's very cold. That's why we used to have a lot of butter and meat type. It's so that's why when I was three years a little girl, my mother died and I was brought up by my mother's family side, like uncle, auntie, and like that. But you see, when I was five years, and uh, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, has organized the school, the first school in India, Masuri, and also the Dharamsala, TCV, kindergarten nursery. So we are brought up in kindergarten. So for that, uh, for that, uh, for that good result, uh, I can speak English in front of you. If I don't speak English to you, you won't understand my feeling and my what's the background and even I'm a Tibetan or not, that you won't understand. So that's why uh, what I am now is all the, by the grace of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And not only me, for all the Tibetans. So this handicraft center is the first establishment of carpet manufacturing here in Nepal. Uh, it was, I think, in 1960 they uh, established this uh, handicraft center, and at that time uh, they did not have uh, cash allowances, but in our, like they manufactured carpets, but they were given food and clothing, and gradually it uh, <coughs> changed into what we say wages, and now there we are working on like from this carpet. Uh, production from the sale of this, the uh, the, the car handicraft centers supporting almost about 1,000 Tibetans in this area. Like uh, from the proceeds from this uh, sale of these carpets, they have to support the old age home, the school, the school, and social <coughs> welfare for the sick and uh, destitute people. So, like I think this this was very wise because now, like this, I think among all the settlements here in. in this is one settlement where it can, it is a, what we say, it, uh, it is sort of self-reliant because from the people's, uh, from the people's hard work and uh, the profit, the whatever is produced, it all goes back to the people. So it's like a cycle, I think this, uh, we find it very harmonious here. Mm -hmm.